Hello, everybody. Welcome to Minutes with PJ. Today's date, August 26, 2016. Our discussion word is going to be imprisonment. In Psalms 102, 18-21, let this be recorded for a generation to come, so that the people yet to be created may praise the Lord, that he looked down from his holy height from heaven, and the Lord looked at the earth to hear the groans of the prisoners, to set free those who were doomed to die, that they may declare in Zion the name of the Lord, and in Jerusalem his praise. In Ezra 7.26, And whosoever will not do the law of thy God, and the law of the king, let judgment be executed speedily upon him, whether it be unto death, or to banishment, or to confiscation of goods, or to imprisonment. Hebrews 11, 36-38, And others had trial of cruel mockings and scourgings, yea, moreover, of bonds and imprisonment. They were stoned, they were saw asunder, were tempted, were slain, with a sword, they wandered about in sheepskins and goatskins, being destitute, afflicted, tormented, of whom the world was not worthy. They wandered in deserts and mountains and in dens and caves of the earth. 1 Peter 5.67 Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time casting all your care upon him for he cares for you here's what i'm getting god saw that israel had been in prison in slavery for 400 years he heard their cries and sent moses to rescue them those who don't follow god's laws will be imprisoned for their sins god will execute judgment on them Sometimes we are tested through trials, torments, being afflicted, and imprisonment. Humble yourselves at the feet of Jesus. God promises to always be there, even during times of imprisonment. Would you think about this today? Have a blessed day.